Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Hello, everybody. To Tiny Teams Festival. Tiny Teams with L- L- Louis, Louis and Liddy. We have our cup of tea. It's pouring with rain outside. It's very autumnal. It's very cosy to be inside. I noticed you said that you were going to embrace autumn. If, if life gives you autumn, wear a jacket. Exactly. Exactly. Something on those lines. It, yeah, it? that's what the old say. Ah saying says that's what the old saying says Lydia's in terrible pain <laughs> she's currently hoping she's not going to leave the loo because <laughs> someone's going to have to wheel I her chair get, in there I can't get back up again <laughs> so I, I'm not drinking too this much isn't, liquid this isn't funny but <laughs> you're looking very autumnal anyway with the um, ombre oh thank you it's looking great you too with that nice jumper lovely jumper I wore this because it was like retro I noticed that we changed the channel art banner and it's me in this stripy jumper. And I'm like, man, I've had this jumper for years. It looks fresh and new. What brand is it? It's aged very well. I don't know what it is. Do you want to have a look? Are you, are you thinking of investing in one? What you is- have got a Norse Project Ooh. jumper. Oh, it's a fancy one then. That was it's fancy. It's probably why it's aged well. Very nice. Yeah, I probably paid a lot of money for this back in the day. During my jumper day. <laughs> back in your jumper days. Back Am in I the cool? days. Am I calling her old? No, she's a hurt her back. She's like a... Well, she is a bit of an old I mean, lady. considering I heard it by doing absolutely fucking nothing, I think that is a sign of age. So, what are we here for, Lydia? We are here to play Little Locked Rooms. It's our next game on the list. Mmm. So, again, not out. There's a demo. It's made by a single de- game developer. Rio Lucci is the name. I don't know if that's your name, but you don't have to use your real name on anything these days, no, do you? I absolutely don't. Um, you know, you might as well try and keep as anonymous as you can, Lydia Ellery. <laughs> <laughs> I love that I don't really use my second name that much, and now you just <laughs> cannot stop fucking saying it. <laughs> I love your name. I think it's great. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. I think it's that. a really cool name. <laughs> rhymes with celery. Thank you. Does it? Yeah, it does. Lydia Ellery rhymes with celery. And my first name rhymes her, with her chlamydia. Back. Chlamydia, oh. celery, Lydia Ellery. Her, her back. back. Doing the 56. And now she's... She twists her hips and fell on a... Uh, Stick. (laughs) 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 And now she can't walk very far. (laughs) Oh, here's the dev in chat. Hello! Apparently. His name is... In chat is Fish King. Fish King! 2223. I mean, we don't know. You might be, you might not be. You've got to tell us something secret that only the dev would know. Yes, tell us something secret, Fish King. Um, tell us what's going to happen if we click press any key on the demo. Yeah, only game. you would know. There's been a lot of hype around this one, honestly. So we haven't played it yet. Partly because it's better not to play them in advance, we feel, with the... With, with the mystery though. one, otherwise we'd know exactly what to do. Um, it's good to go That's in. our excuse for being very unprepared. <laughs> I think it's I think it's good, because then and you're like, you on Ooh. the right will appear. <gasps> All right, right, here we go. Ready? Oh, cool. It would normally be on the left, so. That's got that. That's that's it. Fish King, you've just proven Fish your. Fish King. Okay, <laughs> perfect. All right, let's just check. Everyone, send your love to him in chat. All good, all good, all good. All them. Uh, I, I shouldn't assume. Tracks in the snow. Although he's Fish King, not Fish Queen. That is true. You're, you've got your detective hat on, I can tell. <laughs> My goodness, nothing gets past you. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I, I am. God, I'm amazing. They should just hire me for the. <laughs> for, for solving the, for things. S- for whatever that role is that <laughs> solves things. A solver. A solver. Police solver. <laughs> I think it's called. The following is a true story that occurred a few years back. It was a cold winter day when an infamous thief. They have long fingers. <laughs> what? Managed to steal a jewel of remarkable value. I thought I had big fat fingers. Make up your mind. What are you going with? <laughs> As he made his escape, however, he made a blunder. A witness caught a glimpse of him fleeing in a red truck. Uh-oh. Police promptly answered the call and gave chase. Mm. After a few hours of driving down the road, they found the truck they were after. Tire tracks and footprints yeah. walked away from it. 
Taking a peek inside, they realised the driver had already exited the vehicle. That's very police terminology there. Mm -hmm. um, in the back of there is like a spare tyre. A set of footprints went from the vehicle into a small cabin. The police naturally checked inside. Is it like a locked door mystery? But alas, the thief wasn't in there either. Oh, love it. I don't think you checked well enough. Yet, there were no traces of anyone leaving the cabin. Mm, so he must still be in there. The criminal had vanished into thin air. Case solved. What? Alien. I love this is like, um, what's that man? Um, Jonathan Creek. Exactly. I love that you knew it from that man. That was clever. Yeah, of you. it's a little bit like a locked door mystery. Mm. Oh! <gasps> Hello, sailor. Wow. Love him. The color of his hunky, eyes. Hunky, hunky boy toy. Amber. <laughs> <laughs> Lydia, calm down. <laughs> Feral. <laughs> Lydia has just <laughs> lost her mind for one. <laughs> down, girl. Okay. Um, you, you can do his voice. Give him a sexy voice. <laughs> That's how the mystery goes. Wow. <laughs> what do you think? You can solve it, right, kiddos? <sighs> Uh-oh. Yeah, Dad! It looks easy! Give me two minutes! No, wait, one minute! <laughs> Stop bragging! <laughs> we got a bad guy to catch! If we take too long, you'll get away! <laughs> I'll look in the cabin, you look inside the truck, Bo! Great, my detective kids are on the case. I love my detective son and my detective daughter. <laughs> what? What? Oh, sure. You heard your sister. Take a better look at the diorama. There's some important clues lying around. <laughs> are you more attracted to him now you know he's a daddy? Uh, two very smart children. No, that's completely off-putting. I don't oh. want that baggage. <laughs> Get out of here. He's completely <laughs> lost all <laughs> sexiness to me. Well, that's terribly sad. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Welcome to Little Lock Rooms. On the screen, you'll be able to inspect a diorama that represents the mystery. Rotate the diorama by clicking and dragging with your left mouse button. Uh, click on interesting objects. At the bottom left, you find a card with other important information. Once you think you've cracked the case, click the bar at the bottom right to check your solution. Okay, so... I am. Uh, so we can have a little zoomy zoom. And like, all right, so we do have... Mm. Okay, a uh, couple of things higher. jumping out at me. One, you can walk in your footprints backwards. You can, but then right? you're just back in this car. Yeah, but he might... Did we check inside the car? Right, so you think he's just in the front seat. <laughs> That's a terrible hiding spot. If he is, he's the dumbest criminal ever. Tire carrier, and he is missing a tire. That's true. Can we check all the tires on the car? All right, so we got... Tire, 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 tire. Hmm. Truck. Um, maybe he did that thing where you leave and then you had to take a broom with you and you like. Oh yeah, you broom away. You, you you set the snow back. But then I guess you'd still see those prints, wouldn't you? If it's like just settled it would be, snow. It wouldn't be untouched snow, would it? He could, however, have walked in the car track onto the road and then and escaped that way. He's off. Down there somewhere, he's long gone. Yeah, I mean, let's hope he didn't think about that. I mean, that's way too small. That's very clever. He could be in this chimney burning alive. Something to think about. He could be in the chimney burning alive. That's <laughs> Just true. that was that's what the screaming is. Like, oh, that's what we can hear. <laughs> so a criminal entered a cabin and seemingly vanished inside it. Find out how he did it. Well, we've already proposed two options. Wow. So we need to check both of those. The police found a truck stranded. Trail in the cabin, sure, we know that. Cabin was completely empty, apparently. Um, sure, did they check the chimney? Forensics show that the criminal went inside the cabin 30 minutes before Ooh. the police. So we had 30 minutes lead. Right. There are no secret footprints hidden in unmarked snow. Well, that's, our, Again, we that's didn't, one we of didn't the even, theories. That's, we didn't even suggest that as a theory. Okay. So. Can I look inside? Can we look at the footprints? Can we like anal can we like look at the footprints? Um, what am I doing wrong here? Hmm. What about under the step? Ah, oh! oh, how does the Oh, oh do I just click it? We got suggestion. Sorry. Okay. Okay. I got it. <laughs> yeah. How about you, Sherry? Yep. 
me too. I actually knew the answer from the start. I was just waiting for Bo. As if. What's the answer then, huh? He just, uh... uh <laughs> hold, hold on. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> Let's be organized about this, all right? Uh. Throwing out theories to see if they stick as parameters. We're all real detectives here. And a real detective asks the right questions at the right moments. So let's start nice and easy from the top. Is it a human? Or was it a dog? <laughs> <laughs> well, from the footprints, we know that it was probably wearing human shoes. <laughs> can be a dog wearing but can a dog shoes. wear human shoes? That's a great Let's thing. find out. Uh, like, a, <laughs> like a plot... Um, <laughs> You know, device. Like, they're trying to find this human and it's actually a dog with a knife in its <laughs> mouth with human shoes. They should do that. <laughs> we know for certain that the thief entered the cabin, but the police didn't find him when they arrived. What does that mean? Does the thief really vanish? No, it's a trick. I mean, that's what they want us to... F I can't read. That's what you want us to figure out. It's okay, son. <laughs> I'm only small. <laughs> That reasoning is cheating, but yeah, duh, right? People don't just vanish unless they're abducted by aliens. Well, exactly. And I don't see any evidence of aliens around here, do you? <laughs> the thief was simply clever in how he left the cabin. Oh my god, have I figured it out already? Which what? leads us to our aliens. first question. How did he leave the cabin? Okay. How did he leave the cabin? This is the first in a series of questions the game will ask you. If you want to review the clues before answering, you can always click the arrow at the top right to go back to the investigation mode. You can also ask for hints using the button on the left. Okay. Okay, well... So... Okay, for do first... You want me to, let's just go back and... Just, you know, all right, let's have a little more of a look. Just. So, of course... Okay, option one, walking... He could have, again, stepped in his own footprints, stepped into the car, and left on the road. Easy peasy, right? Jumping is a weird option, but maybe he climbed onto the roof, jumped into the car, and then, again, walked down okay. back that way onto the road. That could be an option. But it looks like the fire's on in the oh, cabin. Oh, yeah, I feel like that's And I feel us. like even Santa wouldn't risk that. No, not a burnt ass. Um, flying, he could have brought with him a jetpack. I, something to ponder, but something to but also even disregard. But still... Is a bit too elaborate. Insane, yes. Footprints would leave a mark on the tire tracks, possibly so on we, that genius. So we thinking But maybe he like maybe he like ran on the wheel. You know, the spare tire. Right. He yes. used that. He to, did like, and then like a and he had a stick and a little like ball on his nose. Yes. And he was doing and he his like uni, circus uni cycles <laughs> circus practice. Along the tire track reverse tire track it. I think you were right the first time. I think he might be hiding in the car. I think he's backwards walked, got back in the car. Okay, so let's get let's guess that then. Okay. So go to how did the thief exit the cabin? Okay. And we'll just say walk. By walk. Because it sounds like yeah. The this, if sometimes the simplest option is the right one. Is the best. It just walked out. Makes sense to me. I'd forgotten that that was my line. <laughs> Thing is though, no footprints are coming out of the cab. How do you explain that, genius? <laughs> Dumbass. Uh, because of what he used to walk, because of where he walked, because of when he walked. Because of where he walked? Yeah, he took his with? shoes off, put them on his hands, and then handstand walked yes. in his own footprint. That is very clever, Lewis. Well so done. That's where, where he, he walked. walked. <laughs> <laughs> where did the thief walk? Uh, where did the thief walk? He walked on the footprints. This is my suggestion. I know, I know. It's because he went backwards over his steps. Exactly. Well done. Ah, uh, that's it. He masked his exit with his own footprints. Now, following that logic, where would the thief arrive? By backtracking through his steps. Great question. The truck, right? Correct. The footprints would lead back to the truck. So we still haven't fully explained how the escape occurred. Has he taken a wheel, literally, and like... <laughs> like you said, rolled away with it. Answer me this next. How did the thief manage to escape once he reached the truck? Hmm. So what he used to escape? Because it must be the wheel. Because of where he escaped through. Because of when he escaped. The it, must wheel? Be, it must be the wheel. It must be the wheel. Right? You like... What did the thief use to escape? A tire? Sure. 
was a missing tire. <laughs> he rode the tire like a mi monocycle. This is a bit elaborate, probably. <laughs> You'd have to have some serious balance. That's quite incredible. What? No, that's dumb. He rolled it behind. Oh, that makes more sense. That makes way that more makes sense. That makes way more sense. Okay. That's that kid that, is way smarter than us. The, we didn't figure that oh, out at all. Oh, that is a clever child. But you thought of it with the brushing behind. I mean, yeah. You just reset it. And then you thought of all of that as well. So you just had to blend the two things together. Now that got everyone in chat. There so we go. Like, there we go. Everyone was like, yeah. He rolled it behind him. That's not dumb. You're dumb. What does rolling it behind him even mean? Yeah. You can't even figure that out. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> Children, stop fooling around. <laughs> Don't be like that, buddy. Buddy? Explain to your sister what you mean. My voice has changed 50 times. <laughs> <laughs> mm, all right. The thief walked backwards from the cabin and then hopped onto the back of the truck. That's when he unhooked one of his spare tires. Why did he got a really scary head? Yeah, so what I was saying. Then, the next thing he did is walk through the tire tracks until he got to the road. Why are there no footprints, huh? Because he rolled it behind him. There we go. Because like I said, dumbass, he used the tire. As he walked, he rolled it behind him, leaving only wheel tracks. Oh. Okay, that's kind of boring. My idea was better. Whatever. Dad, I'm right, don't I? Absolutely. Hell yeah. Your brother's right, Sherry. His version makes the most sense. Wait, someone says the prints are missing on the left. What prints? Oh yeah, look, the tire track. You see that footprint in the in the oh, tire track yes. runs through the footprint. <gasps> Clever. You could have solved this right at the start if you'd noticed Clever. that. Clever. We are not we didn't have our magnifying glass at the start. If we'd spotted I that. No. That's what we needed to do it. It gives our size our power. So I guess there will always be visual clues. Visual something that you've got to look out for. Didn't notice that. No, exactly. Okay. You got to read your bloody bit. Abs you're, yeah, I did. I did. You can press the button. Oh, sorry. Have you already read it? Told you! <laughs> Still, I can't deny either possibility, really. Why well, you can. He could have done the motor motorcycle. He obviously didn't do that. She's a stupid cow. You both get a passing grade. No. No, she gets nothing. Yay! Nice. Anyway, good work, you rascals. Let's do a quick recap. After the burglary, the thief was on the run. His plan was most likely to lay low in the cabin. You, what is, where are your voices? However, Papa. this changed when he realized the police <laughs> was on his tail. That's when he thought of a little trick. He would walk in his own footprints backwards. Blah, 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 blah. Um... And do the thing that I figured out immediately. Because <laughs> <laughs> I've done too many of these. <laughs> <laughs> He's very frightening. Oh, man. It's great, huh? The officers were very confused when they arrived. But carry on. They ran a search party, but they focused their efforts in the wrong place. The man was actually 30 minutes down the road, <laughs> but he was on foot this time, so we could still catch him. <laughs> they just they found him at a local McDonald's, <laughs> eating a burger. <laughs> he had a tire with him. Mystery sold. Well done, us. Genius. S rank. Is that because we got the right answer every time, yeah. first time? Oh, the thief got away because you took too long, Bo. What are you talking about? I'm the one who actually solved it. That says my idea still counts. Hate Bo. And I meant this one. He's Bo. I don't know why. Shelly. Shelly. Fuck you, Shelly. But yeah. mine is better, right, Dad? Huh? Everyone wins. Come on, let's pick it, pack it up and go upstairs. I'm starving. Go upstairs? Do we live in this house? Do we live? This is our little cabin. We have lived. We, we, our house is now ours. Oh. Oh, is wow. that, are we, are we, is this, so this, I think this so might these, be. This is a demo. This is the demo, right. So I think that might that be might, all there I is. I think this is it for it's the. It's a very short the demo moment. because it's being worked on. This is a short demo, 15 to 30 minutes. We solved it in 16. Boom. High five. High five. <laughs> very nice. We destroyed nice. your game. Uh, that's great. Give I us another one. I think this has got. King. Uh, Potential. Oh, we loved it. Really, like, really great idea. I love the aesthetics. Super cute. Um, very excited for this. Really cool idea. 
It's fun, huh? Very, very much looking forward to the. It's very cute. I like the little this. dioramas. Super cute. Super freaking cute. Yeah, it was. Um, yeah, like it's 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 nice, isn't it? I like these like little mysteries. Little. I can imagine there being some really cool ones. Yeah, I love the li locked door. Uh, the the locked first door I uploaded a bit ago with chapter two enabled. Says night. Job. Oh, we can play a bit more. Okay, let me see if I can do that. Also, if you're looking for voice actors to play the children, look, you know. Um, just saying. I uploaded a bit ago. Okay, which bit? Do, which version do we have? Let's see. Sorry, TJ. We're gonna have to. I'm gonna go into the the properties. I'm gonna see We're if hacking. there's a version I've got. Do I need? Do I need to use a special build, Fish King? Uh, to get this, or this is great having the dev in chat right now to it's solve that yeah, problem. Yeah, <laughs> very, very helpful. Oh, he's considering I'm seriously it. considering it. What asses the voice actors? Don't. Please. I agree. We're terrible. We're terrible. No, I, speak for yourself. Sorry, Lydia is available for voice Speak for yourself. <laughs> I can speak many different varieties, accents, and inflections for a low, low price. <laughs> There's literally an update button. Oh, did we not? Hang on, let me just quickly reload it. Oh, oh yeah, now it's available. Oh, perfect. Perfect escape. I, I must have literally not updated it to the latest version. Sorry. Boom. We're back. Chapter two. This is exciting. You ready for the new one? This is twice the difficulty. Ooh, hell yeah. Perfect escape. Hit play. Um, okay. Are we all ready? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I love how he went from heartthrob to <laughs> to like creepy guy. <laughs> he has got two fairly weird children. Yeah. Um, Dad, we already solved this one, didn't we? No, we didn't. What? No, we did. This is the one with the thief on the tire. We did it the other night. Dad, Bo's acting weird. No way. Huh? Ha <laughs> ha Calm down, Sherry's just kidding. Right, baby? Ba -ba. Um, oh, you're right, Bo. I, we did do this one before, I just remember. Ugh, how did you forget in the first place? But, Dad, then why are you going to show us? Was something wrong with my idea? No, it was perfectly fine. You guys crushed it. Mm. This is just a little encore. Pay attention now. If you recall, our problem was a thief that got inside a cabin but was nowhere to be found when the police got there. And the solution was that the thief walked in reverse over his own footprints. Yeah. So that's actually what happened, and the police didn't notice. But in reality, stepping perfectly into your own footprints is not that easy. Shoes can have intricate patterns on their soles. Being a bit off when stepping over your steps would leave marks. Mm. And you'd have to keep that accuracy the whole way. It depends on the snow and other factors, but you could be able to tell if you looked real close. And avoiding that... It's today's mission. You're going to figure out a solution that wouldn't leave any mark. Oh. Mm, we have to find a better way to escape from the cabin. Doesn't that mean we'd be the bad guys? Who cares? What's important is the problem to solve. No. I want to be a detective, not a thief. Now let's say that back in our original case, the officers did then look at the footprints, but mm -hmm. found no imperfections. Which means the solution where the thief walked out of the cabin backwards doesn't work. Dun, 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 dun. How weird. Thankfully, we have our detectives here to solve this, right? I see. Then the case isn't over yet. The thief is smarter than I thought. What evil plan did he use? Is it aliens? <laughs> aliens. Don't worry. Sherry Holmes will solve it. Let's go, my dear bosun. Wait, what did you call me? Cute. Okay. All right, we got. Mmm. What has. Ch okay, there is something new. Those logs and that axe are on there. Right? I, I don't oh. feel like they weren't there. Axe. Wood logs. And stuff on the other side. There's a bucket. bucket. There's a bucket. <sighs> and same mm. stuff here. Tire tracks, mm. footprints. Okay, so how so does there's something visual. Did... Hmm. Did... Hmm. 
Is there still smoke coming out the chimney? Uh, uh, yes. The tire's still missing, chat, because I think that's still the last stage of the escaping yeah. the tire thing, right? It's but it's more like the footprints are the problem here. Could it be like he put his shoes into the bucket? No. Wait. <laughs> No, that doesn't work. I was thinking like if he went on his bare footsies and then held the shoes and then just really carefully pushed it in with his hands. The handstand. Not the handstand, exactly. Oh, what? So he walked but backwards like, in bare feet and he pushed the, the shoes down as to he make was them. going. But then that's still really fiddly, isn't it? He could have done that. Yeah, that actually is fine, right? That's that makes that... But then again, yeah, that will still leave marks and they would still know. So I guess he can't have used the footprints again. Without stepping over his footprints. So what about what about the windows? Do any of the windows open or anything? Like, can he reach that bucket and that, like, axe comfortably? Is there a way to, like, refreeze snow behind Could, him? Uh, he's got superpowers, yes. He well, does. Well, with, like... With, like, water. Do you know what I mean? If you, like, pour water, is there a way to refreeze it? I guess not I don't with your eyes. I don't it? think he's got time to, to be pissing around with refreezing water. I don't think he can climb up the chimney. That's just madness. Did he open the window, take some wood, open the window, take a bucket, and Okay, then... how about this? He, how about this? Okay, he got some logs, he stepped into the fire and burned himself to death right right and then there was nothing no left he became completely incinerated just ash some ash and a skull yes and some gold teeth and gold melted. teeth because that's what he was all about he loved gold teeth um <laughs> I don't know if that's right but it's definitely a backup plan the case. and he was a Buddhist yes, yes. Chat. so he reincarnated. reincarnated in the car into the car that's how reincarnation works you get to decide where it is Used the axe to reach the bucket. So he picked up the axe, used it to, sp to reach, the reach down and pick up the bucket. So now he's holding a bucket inside and here. And an axe. And an axe. And how do we use those? How does he use okay. them? <laughs> okay, wait, wait. All right. Liddy's having a moment. <laughs> wait, wait. No, it's just my spasm. It's just my spasming back. <laughs> I, but wait, it you is. You thought a, it was a stroke of genius when it was an actual stroke. It's also a moment. <laughs> I'm it's having a stroke. <laughs> it's, it's of genius? <laughs> no, it's it's my back. <laughs> it's my back. <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait. I've got it. I've actually got it. It's a combination of both. Okay, he takes the bucket. He scoops up some snow. Snow. He pours it onto the chimney to put the fire out. He climbs up the chimney, he jumps onto the car, and then somehow, using the pad magic of manifestation, he relights the fire. Maybe. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Could he have staged the fire then? Oh, lit a match after climbing it? Could be. So he climbed up there, lit a match. Although, lighting a fire is. Back down with a match? Hmm. Is there only missing snow that he could have scooped up with a bucket? Doesn't look like it, does it? Mm. There's no like patches of snow missing. Hmm. The logs aren't covered in snow. Well, yes, it suggests that they are fresh and new. Other they everything like these would all have snow. Look, it doesn't. None of this has snow in it. So what he could have had more stuff with him in the car as well, right? Yes. That's true. And could you use the logs to roll the snow flat? It would leave a mark though, wouldn't it, again? Uh, there's no snow on the roof either. That's weird. That is weird. I guess that's because the chimney's on, right? What? Mm. Rolling flat snow smooth. Hmm. Something to ponder. Do you reckon he could have, like, knocked all the snow off the roof to cover up tracks? Oh. Oh. And then rolled it flat. I feel like that's... Hmm. Hmm. He right before the snow, it fell while he was in the house, and he walked back to the car backwards. I feel like... Oh, that's good. It's good, but I feel like... That's actually good, Ninja Connor. Is that going to be it? 
He I made like a new idea. roof. <laughs> But then the car tracks are wrong. That's true. Then the car tracks are wrong. But you'd have to make new tracks with the tire. But it'd be hard to do that accurately all the way under the car. And yeah, you wouldn't be able to do it under the car because the tire wouldn't fit under the car to make the tracks. There is no snow. It's all just sugar. 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 It's just a blowout party. It's a lot of cocaine. Freeze the footprints so they don't deform. The great model of the North says he skipped steps and then walked backwards. So he, he skipped. Oh, so oh, so he oh, like he skipped step. And then when he came back, he hopped. He, he hopped did the other one. And then hopped back. Oh, that would be clever. Oh, he, he wore the shoe backwards and hopped. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one. That could work. Okay, let's go with that. All right. How did the thief escape without stepping over his footprints? This is it. I have an idea. All right, let's hear it. How did the thief avoid stepping over his footprints when he walked out of the cabin? Because of how he walked. Because of how he yes. walked. Yes. Oh my god, he hopped. The footwear used by the thief, the body part the thief used, the length of the steps. Well, he could, yeah, I guess he could take very long steps. Oh, and then fill in the gaps on the way back. Yeah, but how, how far is a long hang? We need to do this science slide. Okay, do science. If I'm doing like this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I do very long steps. So you could could you you could skip that? You'd have I could skip. I'd have to skip one. I'd have to go all oh, the way. Oh, it's a big here. skip, isn't it? You don't have very long legs. You'd struggle. Yeah, because I have to, and then I'd have to go with another one. And yeah. then can you do it backwards You'd as well? You'd basically be doing the split. If you wore, if you did it backwards the same way, that would work. So it could be the length of steps, but it could be. But the body part he used. Because it also could be the footwear. Like he could just have had two sets of boots yeah. with two left feet and done left, 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 left. And oh. then right, 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 right on the way back. So we assume he's got a spare pair of boots with him. But then... Like, mm. Let's just let's, let's not assume the spare boots. No. Should we say... Too madness. The length? Let's say the length. Right? Oh, oh! I know, I know! He did it like this. First a short step. Then a long step. Oh, look, that's, yeah. Like this. Because of that, he left little gaps between his footprints. And that's where he stepped over when he went back. Hey! Okay. Wow. Well done, Lydia. But, well, that was, that was well chat. Out. Chat said that. Who chat. was it? Who figured Someone that in out? chat figured that out. Some genius. And we just chat. hopped on the idea. It was. And, and pretended it was ours. It was all my idea. It was, I can't remember who it was, but well God done. bless you. God bless you. God bless you, everyone. Every single one of you. You really helped us. I think it was, I'm sorry, I just want to, it was the Great Mole of the North. Okay, he did it. He skipped steps and then walked backwards. Yeah. Well done, Mole of the North. Well done, Mole of the North. Nice. <sighs> all right. What a lad. Yes, pumpkin. Exactly. But the way you looked me in the eyes as you said that was, uh... <laughs> You have to call me daddy now. <laughs> I am your daddy in this game. <laughs> Don't make me know that. <laughs> God, my back can't take cr like physically cringing. <laughs> like <laughs> You've had a stroke. Now you're having that's, a cringe. I give women all of the uh, My back spasm even more. All right. Okay. <laughs> You be the do the say the thing. <laughs> I get it. That's why you made the footprints closer to each other this time. I didn't even notice that. Oh, so the bad guy doesn't have to jump too far when he takes the long steps. We didn't even notice that the footprints didn't, were closer. Didn't again a visual clue that visual. we didn't see. Uh, ha ha ha! You, you noticed very sharp. Yes, I did adjust the footprints a little bit. We didn't notice, did we? We didn't. We should have noticed. Yeah. What? Oh, you're right. So bad. I missed something even Sherry saw. We all missed that as well, Chuck. Uh, don't you worry. Well, yeah, you're just a bosun. Stop calling me that. So that's the trick, guys. The rest of the escape can be done like we talked about the other night. But by carefully mixing up how he walked, he would have been able to leave footprints that would fool anyone. It's not what the thief really did, but it could have been. And a detective has got to be prepared for anything. Cool. Woo! That was great. 
Oh, yeah, we took a while figuring that one out, didn't we? Oh, I don't know if we even got it on our own, actually. We're too dumb. We are, maybe a bit. Give me a break. I need some time to get another puzzle together. I thought you were making them yourself. No, Bo. When would I have the time? I'm a professional detective <laughs> mystery. I have a friend back at the station who makes these for fun. I just borrow them for a bit. I think I know what case we'll do next time. We're going to go back in time a bit, like a hundred years or so. So make sure to put steam wish lists on. You mean your book detectives? Our dad is the best one. You're pretty cool, Dad, but you're no Sherlock. Maybe when you get a movie. Hard to argue against that, Princess, but at least I am the second best, right? Depends. Can we order some ice cream? Cheeky. <laughs> okay, I think we're done here. Let's clean up, head upstairs, and order some ice cream. You're the best, Dad! You're the bestest! Hooray! Yeah, well, thank you for the little bonus. Uh, that thank is you. That was great. Locked Rooms. There is a demo. You can, we did it. But, um, you can check it out. And it's um, coming out coming out in the future. I don't know if there's a Give a it a little wish really. list. Put it on, shove it on your wish list. All right, shall we have a go at something else? What's I think we should. What's the next one? Next one is... Well, the next one is actually made by Ninja Connor, who is in chat right now. Sar Sergeant Squidly. <gasps> no relation. It's me. So <laughs> it's me. So what do you mean it's you? Squidly. Oh, you don't think it's me? Why would that be you? Well, it's... Squidly. Friendly. Squidly. Oh, no, 